I shall not seek, and I will not accept the nomination of my party for another term as your president. That's Lyndon Johnson in 1968 making the surprise announcement he wouldn't pursue a second elected term as president. In that same room, the Oval Office of the White House, 56 years later, President Joe Biden explained why he decided to also drop out of the race. You know, there is a time and a place for long years of experience in public life. But there's also a time and a place for new voices, fresh voices. Yes, younger voices. And that time and place is now. Both Johnson and Biden in the final year of their presidencies were unpopular. Johnson's fractured party eventually chose his vice president, Hubert Humphrey. I am ready to lead our country. The majority of voters in 1968 did not think so, electing Republican Richard Nixon instead of the Democratic Party nominee. Democrats this time quickly united behind their vice president. So the momentum in this race is shifting. That has given Kamala Harris a boost in the Democrats' quest to defeat the Republican nominee, former President Donald Trump, according to University of Virginia professor of presidential studies, Gwian McKee. In contrast to Humphrey, she uh, has really been able, at least for the moment, been able to separate herself from that unpopularity to kind of develop a political identity of her own and really recast the momentum of the election. At the Johnson Presidential Library last month, Biden said he'd long admired the late president's public service from rural Texas school teacher to senator, then vice president and president. The philosophy was simple. In a great society, in a great society, no one, no one should be left behind. The accomplishments of Johnson's great society, civil rights and voting rights laws, social welfare programs, federal funding for schools, and some of the first significant anti-pollution legislation were overshadowed by his losing battle against an unwinnable war in Vietnam. In recent years, however, Johnson has climbed into the top quarter of historians' rankings of America's 46 presidents. That 46th president, will be remembered for the chaotic Afghanistan withdrawal, as well as his climate change initiatives and revitalizing America's industrial base. Biden's larger legacy may hinge on the fate of his unfinished diplomacy in Ukraine and the Middle East, notes University of Virginia professor McKee. And it depends on whether the accomplishments uh, grow over time and outweigh the limitations of his record, and that will shape his historical legacy and his, his rank among American presidents. Lyndon Johnson and Joe Biden aren't the only one selected presidents who decided not to pursue an additional term. An exhausted and ill James Polk left here in 1849 and died three months later. James Buchanan was unpopular and in poor health as the nation headed towards civil war. In the 20th century, Calvin Coolidge was beset by personal depression and an economic one. Harry Truman decided to bow out early after an upset loss in the first primary amid the stalemate of the Korean War and a yearning to return to private life. Steve Herman, VOA News, at the White House.